In this video, I'll show you how my gym evolved over time and how I grew my business. When I bought my first piece of equipment, my goal was just to train myself at home. Instead of spending on a gym membership, I decided I would just invest in gym equipment. So I created a little corner and I bought a barbell with some plates. After some time, I was graduating from my master's degree and instead of finding a job, I decided to start my own business and train people at my home gym. I never liked having a boss and I wanted to do my own thing. Now at that time, I worked before as a trainer in different gyms, but I didn't have any experience in business. So how did I start from nothing into the full-time business I have now? It wasn't easy and I had a lot of people tell me that it wasn't gonna work and I should just find a regular job instead. But I liked the challenge and it just made me want to prove them wrong. I didn't have any backup plan and because of that I had to make it work no matter what. My priority was to get as many clients as possible and grow my business. So I took anyone I could. I also spent a lot of time learning about training so I could be confident enough to train anyone. So how did I get my first clients? I asked all my friends and I looked through my entire Facebook list. I talked to anyone who could be a potential client. I would also buy new equipment pretty often and show it off on social media. By doing that, I was hoping people would see it and want to come train with me. It would also force me to find those clients because I needed that money at the end of the month to pay for the equipment I just bought. It probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but it worked for me and it gave me more motivation. For the first few years, everything I made, I reinvested back into my business. There were a lot of difficult moments, but I never gave up. There's a rule in marketing that says people have to interact with you about seven times before they decide to buy something from you. And one of those interactions could be seeing you in person or seeing one of your posts on social media. So I tried to network with people as often as possible and post on social media as much as I could, so people knew about me. After a while, I got a few success stories and that gave me more credibility and it became easier to get more clients. I used social media as a way to market myself. And that's how I built my business from pretty much nothing. If you want to start your own business, the most important thing is that you have to be 100% confident in your product or service. My other advice is to start slowly so you can really understand how your business works and you can grow from there. In the beginning, you'll have to do everything, including learning about marketing and sales. And also be ready to do a lot of sacrifices, but it'll pay off in the long term. And there's always gonna be ups and downs, so don't give up. If you like this, make sure to watch my video on how much all this equipment costs me. And don't forget to subscribe.